As far as I know, there's no way to display an actual live web page in an After Effects comp, but there sure are a lot of ways to fake it. Welcome to Solvent, and I promise there's not a f***ing spiral anywhere in sight. First up, the simplest way to display a web page is to straight up screen record it. I use Flashback Express for all my tutorials. It's simple to use, free, has no watermarks, and gives me a 15 FPS MP4 file. As I'm a badly animated cartoon using After Effects at 30 FPS, it's all I need. Flashback does let me double the mouse size on output. I don't really use a pointer this big, but I figure it helps if you're playing my tutorials on a smaller screen while following along on your main screen. Of course, there's plenty of times when screen recording is not an option. You may just want a still image, or you're mocking up a website, or you're altering it from its live appearance. In which case, you need to take still screenshots and animate an AE later. Whenever I go to make a tutorial, I search around to make sure I'm not just repeating one someone else has done, and if I am, at least I'm putting my own spin on this. Every. Single. Web page tutorial for After Effects all tell you to take a screenshot of your window, paste it into Photoshop, scroll down, take another screenshot and join them up. Do yourself a favour, follow the link in the description to the Chrome store and install Go Full Page. It's an extension for Chrome that makes a single image of the entire web page. Here's my YouTube homepage. Whoa, that's uh, a real window into my cell right there. Kind of weird to see it all laid out like that. Okay, focus. Here's the extension, just click it. Go full page works through the whole page and produces a single image. At this point, you can either save as a PNG file, which is the browser width at 720 DPI, or you can download it as a PDF. Either way, it's 720 DPI. If you scale up in Photoshop, Photoshop will smooth out the enlargement. But if you drop it directly into After Effects and scale up, it'll look like you're zooming in on the web page. Go Full Page will also work with the Developer Console's mobile view. Just go to the vertical dots settings menu, More Tools, Developer Tools, and click this button. You'll probably need to refresh the web page to trigger the mobile view, but there you go. Pretty cool, huh? <coughs> like button. Once you have your screenshot, it's time to head into After Effects. Here's a comp, and I can just drop my image straight in. Now, there's a good chance you want to animate it moving or possibly add it to an existing frame, in which case it's kind of tall. For this tutorial, I'm going to add in a device frame, but if you want to see how to add a screen to a device in a moving shot, check out my tutorial on using Mocha AE. So I want my web page to appear inside the frame. First thing I'm going to do is create a null layer to parent everything to. My device frame was already scaled down, this way I won't get fiddly property values. Go to Layer, New, Null Object, and link the computer to it. And now right click on the screenshot and choose Precompose. Move all attributes. So now we have a 1080p comp with our screenshot ready to scroll up and down. Back in the main comp, scale it down until it fits inside the monitor, and position it to fit. And now parent this precomp to the null 2. If you parent the layer, then precomp, you lose the parent setting. And now you can edit the position in the precomp to move up and down the web page. But here's the thing a web page is rarely viewed without a browser. I've thought about that. Taking a leaf from my mini tutorial on Font Awesome, I've recreated the look of Google Chrome as a ready to go precomp. You should install the free Font Awesome font if you haven't already. And Mac users, I've also been using the font Sego MDL2 Assets, which Windows uses for its system icons. You might need to replace those, I don't know. The project and links are in the description below. If you click the subscribe button while you're there, then it won't help you, but it gives me a warm fuzzy. In the project, you'll find a comp called Browser Precomp. Get your screenshot, and while holding the Alt key, drag it onto the bottom layer. I've got an expression on that layer's position property, which links its vertical position to the slider in the null controller. Pretty neat. I told you, I don't just repeat others' tutorials. But we're not done yet. Web pages are not static screenshots. Generally, there's a mouse pointer involved, and that mouse pointer changes if it's over a clickable area. Let's jump over to our original screenshot precomp. And making sure the layer isn't selected, use the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle over one of the video links. Then select this new shape on the timeline. Hold Ctrl and tap D to duplicate it. Make sure the Select tool is, um, selected, and start dragging the new shape to the right. 
If you hold shift while dragging, AE will let you drag in only one direction. Control D to duplicate it again until we've done an entire row. YouTube is nice and neat, arranged into rows like this. So now hold shift and select all four shapes and right click and choose group shapes. Then duplicate this group and drag it down for the next row. Make sure the layer is selected and hit enter to rename it targets. It's probably best at this point to parent it to the screenshot. And you can keep repeating this for every clickable area you want. Now for the mouse pointer, go to the Font Awesome website and search for pointer and copy the regular pointer to your clipboard. Back in AE, select the text tool and control plus V to paste in your copied character. At this point, you'll need to set the Font Awesome free in the character dropdown and probably want to color it white and give it a black outline. Rename the layer to pointer or mouse or whatever. Now the clever bit. Make sure the text layer is selected and go to effect, expression controls, layer control. Rename this to target layer and then select the target shape layer. Expand the text layer until you can see the source text property. Hold alt and click on the stopwatch to open the expressions area and type regular equals open quotes and control V to paste in your pointer symbol. Close quotes and add a semicolon. Jump back to Font Awesome and copy the clicky finger icon. Back in expressions, clicky equals open quotes and paste in the clicky finger. Semicolon, new line. Target equals and use the pick whip to link to your target layer effect. Semicolon. Pointer equals transform dot position semicolon. Alpha equals target dot sample image, note the capital I, brackets, pointer, comma, square brackets, one, comma, one. Close square brackets, close brackets, open brackets, zero, close brackets, semicolon. Sample image is a really powerful expression as it gets After Effects to identify the image boundaries and acts as a collision detection for the text layer's position. Final bit. If open brackets alpha is greater than zero, close brackets, open curly brackets, clicky, close curly brackets, else, open curlies, regular, close curlies. And if I move the mouse pointer now, see how it changes? Sorry, I don't need validation here. I'm going to declare it. That is cool. Drag the targets layer below your browser layer and turn off its visibility. In the project I mentioned before, I've already set this up in the pre-comp and it's linked via essential graphics so you can move it from the main comp. I really like this method because it means I don't have to keyframe the source text as it moves across the screen so I can change position keyframes and I don't have to go back over the source text ones. If you do want to change the page you're looking at as if clicking a link, then it's relatively simple. I'd hold Ctrl, Shift and Tab D to split the screenshot layer and Alt replace for the new one. Your targets might be messed up, so you'll probably also want to split the mouse pointer layer and use the target layer selector to point to a new target too. And that's it. A little bit of setup, but once you've got your comp made, it is straightforward to use again and again.